love me. XOXO. So the last part of the eyeshadow palette collection was um, cut off by uh, a battery. So we're back. I am wearing today the Lethal Cosmetics Metamorphosis Palette. I did, however, have to dip into my Ferocious Beauty Palette because I needed something deeper for my end. Here, come on in, come look at it. It's gorgeous, actually. Look how cute I am. Listen, you know, I know. Hey, I'm so cute. You know this. You know it. All right, let's get back into it. I feel pretty and witty and gay. I recently acquired this palette, um, which is fancy talk for I bought this on a whim and I was feeling bad. So I bought it and I was curious about them. I got the Melt Cosmetics Bad Side Zodiac air palette I'm not an air sign but here's the thing I kind of I think I kind of hate most zodiac palettes uh, because generally just because I'm an earth sign doesn't mean that those are the colors that speak to me and these are the shades that normally speak to me do you know what I mean like I don't want brown I am brown I'm good. So anyways, um, I feel like this is a nice little palette. It's cute, it works pretty well. Um, I feel like the formula is just like, it's, it's there. I feel like if you've never used Melt before, I still have this little thing on, let me take it off. But I feel like if you've never used Melt before, this is a nice little introduction, but I would also say if you've never used Melt before, this is not a good introduction because it's not indicative of how all of their palettes function. But this is super easy to use, blends very easily, and it's nice, you know what I mean? It's not a bunch, it's not too much to work with. I like that there's a, a good amount of shimmers. Uh, I feel like it's equal shimmers, it is. It's equal shimmers and equal mattes, and I think that that's really cool because then you can just one one, you know what I mean? If you're a, a simplistic, basic person, or if you really want to be extravagant, you can be extravagant. It's whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the boss of you. You are the boss of you. You are the owner of your destiny, not me. Anyways. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I'm still on Eastern time. Archer. It's lunchtime there. I'm going to go ahead and talk about this because I did receive this in PR via Ipsy. And this is the Beauty Bakery Do It For The Gram eyeshadow palette. This one y'all may have seen. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw like a gorgeous little look and I looked adorable. Um, this is uh, top and top. You know what I mean? Are those even words? We don't know. I think like this shade right here is the best shade in the whole thing, but it's like, this is a nice little basic palette, but also you can kind of church it up. You know, you can make it a little fancier, um, but I like it. I'm, I actually do like it. I was kind of surprised by how much I liked it because I thought it was going to just be like a basic trash ass, trash ass palette. This is wing game, wing me, ambitious violet. I found this in the bathroom. You know what, I'm, I don't think that I should keep this because I, listen, even though I like purples, right, I can clearly feel that this is like not for me. I, I just don't feel like I'm gonna like it. But also I feel like I kind of wanna test it out because I'm a glutton for some punishments, but I feel like most of this is just gonna look like hot trash. You know what, Audra, don't even go there. Cause like as soon as I just swatch those, like let's, that's not ambitious or violet, that's violent. Anyways, we're gonna, again, as I said in the last one, whatever you think that I did with these palettes is what I did with them. Whatever it is you wanna believe, that's what happened. All right, so then I have the Essence Welcome to London eyeshadow palette. This one was pretty tits. I feel like this one um, what worked pretty very well. I was very surprised to have that kind of pigment from a uh, drugstore eyeshadow palette because, you know, a lot of times they just be dusty. A lot of them be dusty, especially when you black, they just dusty. But this is actually nice. It's easy to work with. I feel like it was like, I don't know, between nine and $14. I don't know the prices of things. Um, and I know somebody's going to go, that's your job. Actually, it isn't. This is a hobby. So good luck with that. I have a real full-time job. This is a hobby. As such, you can no longer tell me it's your job because it's not. All right, so that was okay. I like that. Um, this one, this one is very special. Okay, I have dust and dirt on it because I, listen, I tried to store it and it didn't, it, there's sinks. I live a funky, funky life. But this is a palette created special, specially and specifically for me <laughs> um, by Lee. Like, this is so amazing. They sent this over because I was like, they don't have any Star Trek palettes. Um, it's in response to the Pat McGrath. <laughs> 
<laughs> Star Wars situation. So now I have a Star Trek uh, TNG. And you know, listen, it's a, it is a it is a Pat McGrath palette that I did not have and I like it. You know, I started kind of playing with it and at first I was having a hard time, but I realized I just was putting too much pressure on myself for it to be perfect. I like this palette a lot. Thank you again for the creation. And especially because like, if you go in the back, the cutout faces are like back here, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. I, I love this palette though. I really like this palette. Luxury in its finest. Now we're gonna pick up exactly where I left off because I found those palettes and I was like, let me get those in so that we can finish, finish this party up. And I don't have a lot of time today anyway because Patreon and channel members, we're about to do mimosas in a movie. We're gonna watch Miss Cleo. Listen, the documentary on Miss Cleo. Let me tell y'all something. My Patreon is lit. All right, anyways. So I left off with all of the BH Cosmetics like AAVE palettes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're not all AAVE, but like a lot of them, oop, oop, and one of these is lemonade. So I'll talk about that after I'm done talking about these little palettes. So these, some of them were hits and some of them were misses. I don't know what possessed me to feel like I needed to buy all of them, but I got Do Not Disturb and I didn't buy all of them, but I bought like too many of them. Um, but they're like nice quality. They're not terrible. They're like good. And I feel like if you have like a couple of them um, when they were around, like I don't know why I got this like super earthy one, but I think that I will use it in conjunction with Do Not Disturb. This one's Let That Shit Go. And I don't understand what like the color story be behind them. Like, I think that's the thing. They're just like palettes with sayings and then there's just like a color story and it's like optimistic AF. I don't know what about this is optimistic, but okay. You know what I mean? But these are like all my color palettes. I got them um, moments of weakness and I was just having a fun time. Uh, yeah, mostly I was just having a fun time. I was like, let's have some fun with this makeup. And I did do just that because I can do whatever the hell I want to. This again, not my job. So. I can buy as much makeup as I want to. I can play with as much makeup as I want to. I can throw it away. I can do whatever I want. I can rub it on my butt cheeks if I feel like it. I could put it on my big toe. What you gonna do? Nothing. That's what I thought. Anyways, Midas Cosmetics. Um, this is their lemonade palette. Well, that that says what I need to know about that now. Um, I don't know why all of these are just suddenly flying out, but I listen. I don't think I'm gonna keep it because of that. I know somebody's like, you can glue it back in. No, like my ADHD will not, like this is a cute palette though, but my ADHD will not be able to handle the situation. And I have some really nice yellows elsewhere. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna, cause, cause here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try to remind myself to do it. I won't do it. Then by the time I think, oh, I need to get the stuff where I'm gonna go get a hot glue gun, okay? And after I get the hot glue gun, I'm gonna be like, ooh, maybe I should, you know, make some cool picture frames for the movie posters that I'm gonna get to like hang up, you know, in my setup here. Uh, it's on the opposite side where I where I um, stream. You would never see them. I would see them, and that's the point. It's for me. It's for me to look at. And then I'll start buying all this stuff to like make really cute picture frames. And ooh, you know, Jen's birthday might come up, and like da 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 da, and I might want to do that. And oh, so and so's birthday. And I'm gonna buy all these crafting supplies, none of which I'm ever gonna use let's be real and I'm gonna have this hot glue gun you know what I'm gonna end up losing the hot glue gun and I'm gonna forget what I got it for which was to glue those back in so I'm gonna stop that now all right so thank you dr. Roxo for being with us. I have the Terra moons um, El Barrio palette I really like this palette I think it's super cute super fun I will say that a lot of these shades so you gotta lay them on you gotta lay them on yeah, don't blend them. Just lay them on. Just pack them on your eye and have the best time. But don't really, don't really get into blending it, babes, because you might have some problems. But like, listen, the gold. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> La Rena, my namesake. Like, listen. I know somebody's gonna be like, your namesake? Yes. <laughs> Rena is my middle name. I am a queen. So yeah, like I really like this. And every time I have an opportunity to pull it out, I do. And the cool thing about doing this y'all is every time I do a video now and every time I film, I'm like pulling from these older palettes, especially ones where I'm like, oh, I haven't played with that in a little bit or I wish I played with this more. Like I'm so orange today. I like and I'm living for it. Listen, all right, anyways. Not like bad, like not like RBK am I orange, but like I'm black orange which is hot. Next up, I have um, Beauty Bay's Earth, Earthy palettes, and this time I'm going to remember. 
I like this. I like a nice green palette. I can use it in conjunction with other palettes and I think it's really pretty. The shimmers, you know, the Beauty Bay formula is consistent. That's what I'm always gonna say about Beauty Bay. Like the formula is consistent. Um, it's pretty, it's fun. And I think you just have a nice time and it's relatively inexpensive. Do you know what I mean? Like if you want to play with color, again, I'm always gonna recommend the inexpensive route when it comes to playing with color. I know everybody has their own opinions with it, but I'm going to say if you wanna play with more color and all, I'm going to recommend going inexpensive. Because if you find out <laughs> that you don't like playing with color, then at least you spent, you know, $25 and you don't feel as terrible and you don't feel as obligated to keep it and keep trying to make it work. But if you, buy you know an expensive Natasha Denona palette or even a Pat McGrath palette because everybody talks about like and I know is it color and it's mostly pink and purple we know but still just saying you may find out you don't like shimmer like that you don't like it to look like that you know looksy beauty has very inexpensive um you know single shadows so like the, those are the things that i'm always going to recommend if you're if you're ever sitting there like where should i start with color start cheap that's all that's what i'm gonna tell you start cheap um it doesn't mean that the formula sucks but even if you have to work with it just a schmidgen if you have like the skill level the main point is that you just want to see what it looks like on and if you don't like playing with color and you don't like what it looks like on and you're just like this is not for me again then you didn't break the bank doing it, all right? So I like these. I like the being able to play with all of the greens. And I just really like, I like Beauty Beige formula. I know a lot of other people are just like, oh, I'm not impressed. But you know, I don't care. Don't be impressed. Nobody asked you. I feel pretty and witty and gay. These are the last palettes that I am aware of that I can talk about. If I find any more, it's too late now. This has already gone on long enough. Yo, this palette, I... Ooh, I love it so much. It is the Cosette mini palette. It is so stinking beautiful. This is one of those palettes where I'm just like, oh, I absolutely adore this. I feel like I can play with this with a lot of different things. I feel like, listen, the way that these show up because they're like cream to powder shadows, and I never thought I would like them, but like, here's two of the shades, yo. Like, don't even play with me like that. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, come on. I got a grungy ass green and a royal purple with like leaning blue. Don't even talk to me right now. Don't, don't be like, you're gonna piss me off. Anyways, I, this was worth every freaking penny I spent on it and I love it. I feel like it was relatively expensive, but I didn't care because I was trying to live my best life because I'm all, always living my most medium life. This is the Lethal Cosmetics Berlin 89 palette. They sent this to me in PR, and this is the palette that made me realize that I liked Lethal. Yup, yup. This is the one, because this one went, listen, this one went all in. This one has like a black shade, and you can mix it with all these other shades to get deeper shades. That's why I like it. And that's why I like it, because you can really like deepen everything up if you need to. And the shimmers are pretty, but not too much. I'm, listen, listen. Mm. I love you. I love you. Love you. This is the sh sugar drizzle. Paint me green and call me a pickle because I'm done dealing with you palette. That was a lot. It's a pickle palette for short. Sure. This is the other sugar drizzle palette that I'm really glad that I have. You know what, y'all? I swear I am missing a couple of sugar drizzle palettes now that I'm thinking about it that I didn't maybe talk about. Maybe I did. Who knows? We're going to pretend but this is what it looks like inside it's so cute it's fun to play with i love it again i will bring out my blend bunny blends palette every time to play with all of my shimmer funds because it's a good time and it's like a nice little palette it's a fun time somebody sent that to me as a gift and i feel like it may have been janet but i'm not positive uh next up i have the um midas cosmetics if things fall out of this i'm just gonna fucking be done all right, so the Midas Cosmetics unveil, Unveiled Berry Nude. I really like this because again, I've told y'all, this, this is my neutral palette. The, you know, this is what I consider a neutral palette to me. And I think it is important to talk about that in the sense of like what me, what neutral means to you because for some people, their go-to neutral is blue. Some people is purple, some people. Anyway, some people's go-to neutral is blue, some people it's purple, some people it's green. It just depends, right? So like, I think that it is important when we say neutral, like what we mean, because everybody's neutral isn't the same. All right, 
Next up, this is from the now defunct Mira Beauty. Of course I love this. This is their greed palette. Um, uh, of course I love it because it's green. You know what I mean? It's green. Of course I love it. And I love the artwork. Absolutely stunning. Like I'm sad that we're not gonna have them anymore, but like, yeah, 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 yeah. That is nice. I also have the lowest cosmetics gone rogue. This one is just okay for me. Um, I like the other two lowest cosmetics palettes I have, but this one's just okay. And I think it is one because the reds and whatnot don't do what I need them to do. So I'm going to play with it a little bit longer and see how I feel about it at some later date and time. Another lowest cosmetics palette that I have is the Rose Metal. Now this one, yes. Yes, I love this so much. It's absolutely stunning. I love the different places that I can go with this palette. Bo is over there farting and it's getting stanky. Um, and finally, <laughs> the last one, the last one in the collection is in fact me, the original Sugar Drizzle palette I have purchased, which is the Pizza Cat. I drooled over this in a um, new makeup nonsense bingo back in the day. I bought it. I have zero regrets. I love all of the shimmers that I played with. I need to actually make sure that I play with every single one. And that, that is the that on that. That is the end. That is every single eyeshadow palette that I can currently find that I own. Let me just check one drawer to make sure before, uh, before I go. Well, slap my face and call me a pumpkin because I found two more. This is the uh, Midas Cosmetics and Smoky Glow collaboration. This was, I mean, impossible for people to get a hold of at some point. And this happened, I feel like at the height, of, right before the pandemic. And my, I feel like that's true. You know what I mean? So let me put this in here because I like this one. I like it. It's okay. Like you could have gone deeper, but I still like having it. I also have the Midas Cosmetics Flower Bomb Palette. This one is not really for me, and I just think that it is because of the fact that it's not really deep enough for my dark skin, and there's way too many press glitters. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and let that one go because like I just don't want to deal with all those press, press glitters in there. I'm never gonna use them. Bo has to poop, so I'm gonna go. Let me know if you enjoyed this eyeshadow palette collection. Next up, we're gonna start talking about complexion products not in a collection, but more in some live streams where I'm going to um, bring up maybe two or three different foundations and we'll talk about them. All right, that's it, y'all. I'm gonna go now. Gotta walk the dog. Bye.